China is one of the world's fast developing countries. Its booming economy, with a 9% annual growth rate, has wowed the world. Yet to sustain this development, huge amounts of energy is needed. Currently, China uses 10% of the world's total energy to support 20% of the global population. When compared to industrialized nations, such as the US, energy consumption is expected to double as GDP increases. Eighty-seven percent of China's energy comes from fossil fuels, with coal accounting for seventy percent of the total energy consumption. China's dependence on coal is only rising along with industrialization, as it burns ten percent more every year to keep up with rising energy demands. The consequences of coal burning are disastrous. China is now realizing that coal is an unsustainable future, as costs are quickly outweighing benefits. One of the major problems with coal burning is air pollution. Nine out of ten of the most heavily polluted cities in the world are located in China, contributing to the premature death of 750,000 Chinese people per year. China is spending up to 5.8 percent of their annual GDP to care for those with pollution-related health problems and clean up some of the environmental effects of industrialization. To escape from this downward spiral, China is exploring alternative sources of energy, particularly renewable energy such as wind power. Wind is ideal as it has no pollution or global warming effects associated with it, and helps the local community by supplying energy, creating opportunities for jobs, and raising their living standard. Wind power has increased worldwide by 30 percent, and costs compared to those 20 years ago have decreased by 80 percent per megawatt. Thanks to increasingly effective technology and investments in renewable energy, wind generated power is becoming more accessible to a wider portion of the population. Experts predict that as coal prices increase due to the resource being depleted, and wind turbine technology allows for more energy at lower prices, wind power will be a strong competitor against coal by 2020. Currently, China is ranked number 10 globally for installed wind capacity and has 59 wind farms and 1,854 working wind turbine generators. These wind farms are concentrated in the north and on the coast, where wind is strongest, as wind speed must be at least 16 kilometers per hour to generate electricity, preferably around 50 kilometers per hour. Though still in infancy stages, wind power is a growing industry in China and has been identified as a key growth component for their economy. They plan to use the industry to create new jobs and generate income. And intend to promote the wind industry via policies which offer incentives to invest in wind power, such as the National Deep Wind Program, offering tax reductions from 17 to 8.5 percent. One of the biggest problems the wind industry has encountered is the energy grid system. It is not built to handle energy fluctuations which occur with wind power, and results in wind turbines often being disconnected from the grid. Currently, a third of the turbines constructed aren't connected. A possible solution is a low-voltage ride-through, a technology that will help keep the connection intact. Yet, this will increase the price of producing turbines. Therefore, more technological research is needed to maximize potential with minimal rising cost of production. China is now investing more than ever in wind power. An example is the World Expo in Shanghai, where 73 million visitors' energy needs were supplied by the Donghei Bridge offshore wind power demonstration over the course of six months. The energy supplied to the World Expo could power 200,000 Shanghai homes. If the government invested 201 billion dollars in wind turbines, it could power the entire city. This shows the potential of wind power. In the Shanghai region alone, there is a potential of 235 gigawatts of onshore wind power and 750 gigawatts of offshore wind power available to be harvested. Wind power benefits the economy, the people, and the environment. As technology increases and prices decrease, it will soon be able to compete with coal and power more of China. Then China's environment can go from this to this.